Good day, this is Ray. Today is Saturday, November 2nd, 2024 for me. Another day of learning and growing. Hope that you, your family, friends, and loved ones are doing well and staying safe. So, um, I'm going to try not to keep this video too long. Um, this is my vacation week. And I need to apologize for wearing my hat. Um, I have a noticeable bump in my forehead. Um, probably uh, at the beginning of a lupus flare. So, this should be fun. It's a fun vacation. But, um, yeah, so vacation. I hadn't had a, had a real vacation in quite some time. Early this year in May, I went to Chicago for a work function. And I had a date to myself on a Monday and went to the Art Institute of Chicago. And didn't do much else. Kind of took in the, the sights, went to this park right in front of the uh, the Millennium Park in front of uh, the Art Institute of Chicago and really couldn't do much because I, my travel the night before had me up all night and I was tired and you know I was hurt so that Tuesday I wasn't able to do much else but anyway um, I did do a boat tour of uh, the Chicago city skyline and uh, they taught us more about the architecture and that was that was great you know I enjoyed it the weather was perfect but um, that wasn't really vacation or a lot of a lot of work uh, functions in the day and um, you know we had to even it to ourselves but in any, any case that was the first time I had traveled uh, since 2019 um, when I moved back out uh, from out west to, to east and so my vacation is going to be a staycation. But even before I get into that, I want to talk about something that happened to me yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I gave a presentation at work, which in the past, I would give presentations like once a week when I was uh, managing. It, it became no big deal. It, it became, you know, practice. And uh, I've got better, you know, by practice and doing it more and just being in front of people and getting comfortable. Well, Yesterday, I didn't feel comfortable, and I didn't have a panic attack, but I just, I didn't present my best, and I was fortunate to have my boss there to, to really help me to, um, to, to get back, you know, get back on track and to be able to present better, but it made me think, it's like, you know what, I need to do this more. I need to... Uh, get back into that that habit that practice and to be able to present because I do enjoy presenting I do enjoy teaching I do enjoy uh, helping out helping out in that way so you know that's something I'll explore when I get back uh, to work um, the week after next so um, this month is a big month for for me I turn a, a year older I'm going to be close to uh, 25 years old. Okay, all right. So, of course, I'm not 25. I went through those years. But I'll be another year older, and uh, the rest of my siblings is going to be another year old. And without giving out their birthdays or anything like that, or even my birthday, happy birthday to all my siblings. I love you. I look forward to talking to you so, at some point. And, uh, you know, hope that you're all doing well. Uh, so... You know, I think about vacations a lot differently now. I, I never really was one to, um, you know, go on vacations. The, the most I would do is, like, when I lived close to the beach, relatively speaking, like 100-something miles from the beach, I would drive down to the beach once in a while and you'd get a hotel for a few nights and then come back and go to work. When I lived uh, close to the mountains, I would go to mountain towns and... Uh, in particular, what I where I love to go and I want to go back is uh, the Garden of the Gods, uh, close to Colorado Springs, and it's it's a park that's free, which is amazing. And there's you know history behind as to why it's free, but it has these uh, gorgeous rock formations. And if I can, I will post up pictures over my my beautiful face that I know you all like seeing. I'm just kidding. I'm super tired. 
Um, yeah, so, but these are beautiful rock formations. As a matter of fact, the place was so inspiring that um, I, I think it was America the Beautiful was inspired. Yeah, America the Beautiful was inspired by that park. And um, it was written by uh, Catherine Bates, I believe. And what I would do is, since I didn't live too far from there, you know, maybe a couple of hours, is I would drive down and I would stay there for a few days, maybe, you know, like the weekend. And I would bring my trumpet and go to the park, find a spot to sit down and just, uh, you know, be inspired by nature and my surroundings. And I would just, you know, play. Um, I would play with a mute. So, you know, wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily hear me unless you were in close to my proximity and I wouldn't be around a lot of people. I would see people coming down the trail and I would stop and some people would be like, Hey, no, keep playing. If you want to hear me play. And I was a decent musician at the time. So, uh, felt very comfortable doing that. But, um, the key, the key thing about the park is that it's free. That is the best way to vacation, finding the free things to do. And I've talked about that in previous videos. It's the best way to save money. If, you know, if you're following my journey, I'm um, paying off 115,000 worth of consumer debt. And um, in order to do that, I'm not, you know, hopping on a plane, going to Vegas, and partying and you know, going to wherever, you know, last minute trips and stuff. I'm planning out everything. Um, and, you know, in the future, I, I hope to take a, a, a big vacation, actually. One of the things I've always wanted to do when I started learning how to play jazz was I would watch, um, I'm not sure if they still have this, but it was BET Jazz. And they would show uh, the Montreal Jazz Festival. And I speak a lot of French, Je parle Francais and Ben. That's all the French I speak now because it's been 20 plus years since I've actually uh, really used it. But... The Montreal Jazz Festival looks amazing and I would love to just go, you know, be there for a week. But in order to do that, I will have to budget for that. And I'm not in a place right now to budget for that uh, because I'm paying off this consumer debt. And, um, you know, once I pay off the consumer debt and I start building a full emergency fund, then, yeah, I can, you know, plan accordingly. Uh, but I also want to have my home paid off in a lot less time than is anticipated to take. I'll just kind of give you an idea. I've paid off as of this morning. I checked 10.6% of my mortgage. That's not a lot. It's, um, I have a long ways to go. But um, if I were the rate of pre-budgeting, then it would probably take me the entire 30 years to pay off the mortgage. But now I'm a different rate. Um, I plan out all my spending. And, you know, I keep track to the penny of, um, of my debt. And I do have a low uh, interest rate on my mortgage, so I'm fortunate. And once I'm able to flip, flip the script and able to toss as much money as I can towards my mortgage, I'm going to get it paid off. And, um, you know, maybe, who knows, I got a second bedroom. I may go ahead and rent that out at some point when I feel more comfortable with um, having people in in my home um i'm immunocompromised so it would have to be somebody who respects uh that and do their best not to bring in a lot of illness because you know i'm susceptible in that way is it susceptible i don't know i went to school for music uh, uh yeah but um Interesting. Yeah, so this week I'm just going to stay around at the house. Uh, there are some uh, beautiful parks around here, so I will uh, get out maybe one one morning, one or two mornings and just go sit out there while the weather is okay. We're supposed to have a cool down, so I'm just going to uh, see how that goes. And um, maybe even go to the museum. I'm not, sh not sure yet. I looked at my budget. I've, I've got enough money to get me through the next two plus weeks and you know as you know I'm throwing as much money as I can towards my debt so I'm just uh, interested in going back to my old ways and you know just living it up my credit cards I don't do that anymore um, I, you know I, I hope that you're in a position to <laughs> 
Yeah, that came out of nowhere. Uh, hope you're in a position to, to think the same, you know, to really make the changes you need to make. But anyway, this video is entirely too long, and I promise I was going to keep it short. If you made it this far, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and know to post my videos. You can find me at youtube.com forward slash at Lupus Lifestyle. Until next time, hope you all take care. Thank you.